What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here, and welcome back to another LEGO DC Super Villains video. So in today's video, I'm of course going to be showing you guys how to make the Human Torch from Marvel Comics using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so to start off with, we're of course going to head into Appearance, Head, Head, and then Head again, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find this headpiece right here, which is of course Custom Head 28, and you want to make sure that it's this skin tone right here. Then you're going to back out of there, go into Face Decal Color, which is the color of the eyebrows, which we want to be black, and for the Wrinkle Decal Color, just go ahead and make it this color right here. Now we don't need any accessories, so now of course we're going to back out of there, go into Hair, and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until we find these spiked two hairstyle now depending on if you want a comic book look or a more realistic look you're either going to go with this blonde or this one right here personally i really like the way that this one turned out so i'm going to stick with that now then for the body we're going to go with a custom body so we'll choose this one right here which is body four we're going to make the first color blue and the second color dark blue and for the body decal obviously you want the number four which should be white on default but just make sure it is anyway nice now then for the arms we're going to choose both arms we're going to go to sleeves make the first color blue like this and the second color is going to be black and since the bottom half of the arms is black we're also going to make the hands black as well now for the hips you're going to find martian manhunters which are these red ones right here which we're going to make blue and finally for the legs we're going to go ahead and go into boots so we'll select those make sure the first color is blue and the second color is black nice looking very very cool indeed now then on to the effects so for the left hand glow, you're going to turn that on, make sure it's style 1, and then for the color, we're going to make it orange. And obviously, you want to do the same for the right hand glow as well. So style 1 in orange. Nice. Now then, for the hit impact effects, we're going to turn that on, make sure it's style 4, so it's the biggest one, and you're going to make that orange as well. And then for the jump slam effect, turn that on, and of course, go with style 4, because it's the flame ones here, which look so much better in orange. So check this out. That just looks super cool. Now then, on to the abilities. So we don't need to add any abilities to the tag button, but for the jump button, we're going to go to double tap X and turn on flight. We're also going to add the hyper jump ability on hold X. Now into tap square, we're going to go to bolts, turn that on, make sure the bolts come from both hands like this. For the bolt style, go with bolt style 7. For the damage type, make sure it's heat bolts. And then for the color, you of course want orange, so it looks like flames, which look really, really cool. Now on hold square, we're going to go to beam, turn that on, make sure that it is a beam style 4 like this. Make sure it comes from both hands and is heat damage and of course the color is yet again going to be orange so you can see there it looks like fire which is awesome now then for tap square for the final ability we're going to go ahead and give johnny an explosion attack so we're going to turn that on make sure it's style one because i just thought that looked awesome for the effect we're going to go with five for the damage type make sure it's heat explosion and then for the color we're going to make it orange because check this out this just looks so cool absolutely love that ability now then on to the skills so believe it or not i only gave johnny two abilities and those were graffiti because he's kind of a troublemaker so i think that makes sense we're gonna go ahead and make it orange and we're also going to add the hazard protection ability nice now then on to the personality so for the health icon, we're going to go with teal. For the health type, just choose standard health. For the voice, just choose any male voice. For the speed, go with normal. For the target record, definitely go with death storms. And for the animation set, obviously you want to go with cool. Because Johnny Storm is just such a cool dude. Alright, so we've done the appearance, the effects, the abilities, the personality. And we don't need any weapons. So now all we need to do is fill in the basic information. So for the status, we're going to go with hero. For the affiliation, it's going to be unknown. And then for the name, we're of course going to put human torch which should fit but let's see human torch there we are nice all right cool so now of course what we're gonna do is drop the human torch into the hub world and see just what he can do and here he is this is of course my custom made human torch made in lego dc supervillains let's just get a good look at him right here now like reed richards i am so happy with the way that johnny's costume turned out i think he looks really really cool but what can he do well of course if we run over here we can attack these objects by punching and kicking them so we'll do that real quick there you go so that's cool it also gives off like a flame effect which i absolutely love and you can see the flames on his hands there as well which are really cool we can shoot fire bolts like this i do wish they had the fire bolt sound effect like in lego marvel superheroes 2 but oh well it's not that much of a big deal we can also shoot a fire beam like this 
There we go. And, of course, we've got this really cool move, which will definitely work nicely over here. So if we run over here and tap circle, check this out. You ready? Three, two, one. Boom! That is so cool. And, of course, we can also leave a crack in the ground, but it's a flaming crack in the ground. So check this out. Nice. So let's actually go fight the police as the human torch. And the cool thing about his flight is, watch this. So you can see the flames there. That looks cool, but it's even better when he starts flying. Look at that. I absolutely love that. That is why I highly recommend that you add flames to his fists. Because then when you start flying around, you've got the flame trail. And that's just so flipping cool. Hopefully in like future LEGO customizers in the video games, maybe we'll be able to make a character that can flame on. And then you could choose like the color of the flame and everything like that. Like what you're doing with the effects, but it will be a full body transformation over the top of the design that you just made. That would be absolutely amazing. But for now, this is just as good i think this looks really really cool just seeing the flames behind him as he's flying that just makes it feel so much more like the human torch than just a character flying because obviously in lego marvel Super Heroes 2 when i made him he would fly but there'd be no flame effect so i think this is so much better look at that very very cool Whee! all right let's actually go back to metropolis and fight the police like i originally planned all right come on johnny faster we need to go faster Whee! Almost there. Come on. I do love the Smallville hub world, though. It is so cool. Such a great area to add to the game. I don't think Smallville's ever appeared in a DC video game until this one. So that's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool for them to be able to do that. Right, here we go. Here's a good spot. So we'll go back to LexCorp. Okay. Ready for this? Usually there's like a van here. Where's that at? Why is the van not there? That's very strange. Okay, anyway, let's just forget about the van and just start causing chaos, which isn't something usually Johnny would do, but uh, in this game we have to because it is entirely based on the villains. All right, here we go. What's what's going to happen here? Nice, that's cool. All right, we need more police who can't just stop there. Can I burn this guy? No, I can't. Okay, but I can punch him, which will cause the police to come after us. So come on. Sorry, dude. Don't worry, this doesn't hurt you. You're actually immortal, so it's not too bad to be able to punch you here. I just need the police to come after me. So I am sorry, Mr. Man. Please forgive me. Come on. Come on. There's any magic. Ah! Where's that coffee guy? I seem to be fighting him in every video. Where's he gone to? There he is! Come here, you! <laughs> Take that, Mr. Coffee Man! How dare you drink coffee in my city? There we go. Okay, now the police are after us. Good. So what else can we do? So if we throw him like that, that's cool. If we throw him in the air, nice, and then boom! Oh, I love the flame effects in this game. It's so flippin' cool. Burn them, Johnny! Burn them all! Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on top of this car, because I am I am a walking target, basically, on the ground. No, what are you doing? You're shaking the vehicle? I didn't even know that was possible. Oh my god, there's explosions everywhere. Aha! There we go. Ben, look out! Not me, the other Ben. <laughs> Take that. Nope, nope. No, I'm trying to get that. You are not getting out of this. Oh, no. He was targeting the civilian who's obviously invincible. That's why that was happening. Okay, I want to, I want like a massive pileup of cars. So then we could just do a, a huge explosion with that uh, circle ability. Because that's just such a cool move and is very devastating, basically. It just takes out everything in the vicinity. So if we do this really quickly and then the police is going to come after us. Right. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes, yes, give me that, give me that, give me that, yes, yes, you too, you too, yes, perfect, 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 yes, yes, oh, oh, hey, hey, who, what the heck did you do that for? That's, it's, I'm supposed to be doing the explosion here, not you. Okay, you ready for this? Here we go, one, two, three. Yes, that was awesome, very cool, nice one, Johnny. Boom. Boom! We're not shooting a lot of flame bolts. We need to shoot more flame bolts. Hey, out of the way, sir, please. Masking nicely. Whoa! Oh, man, that move is so cool. It's so much better on tap circle for Johnny as well, because you can just go around doing that and just absolutely wipe everyone out. He had, like, an angry expression in, uh, expression on the, in the customizer, but in the actual game, it doesn't seem to be. Oh, there you go. He has it now. Yeah. Angry Johnny. Now he doesn't. Now he does. <laughs> Maybe if you do it too quickly, the animation doesn't play. 
Here we go. So yeah, Johnny's probably my favorite uh, member of the Fantastic Four, and maybe my favorite character out of the Fantastic Four that I've made in the game. I mean, Reed was definitely a lot of fun to play as, because he can grow massive and shrink and stuff like that, so he's pretty cool. But I mean, Johnny... Any character that has fire powers is just awesome. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I would say that the Human Torch second to Spider-Man is probably my most anticipated character ever to see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Pretty much ever since I saw the Fantastic Four team up with Spider-Man in the 90s animated series, and of course the Human Torch appearing in the races in the Ultimate Spider-Man video game, I've just always wanted to see Spider-Man interacting with that character on the big screen. Same goes for Wolverine, Daredevil, and Punisher. I'm honestly surprised that has yet to happen happen it's crazy and I really do hope that it happens in the next few years because that would be amazing and I know you know we can't forget the Avengers the Guardians the Eternals and all those characters but I think the most exciting aspect of that Fox deal is to see Spider-Man talking with like the Human Torch and Wolverine because that would just be so cool and of course you know fighting alongside them can you imagine you go see a Spider-Man movie and say for example I don't know Spider-Man's been fighting Green Goblin and Goblin has absolutely trashed Peter's suit so he goes to the back the building to meet Johnny Storm. Johnny gives him a used Fantastic Four uniform with no boots and then he puts you know the kick me sign on the back and gives him the uh, the bag on his head and everything and then we get to see the bombastic Bagman costume in live action. That, I would geek out. That would just be so flippin cool. It's something that like it's little things like that which make this Fox deal all the more exciting. You know, ju just getting to see those famous moments from the comics being brought to life in live action in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, that would be amazing. Truly amazing. That would probably become one of my favorite moments in Marvel movie history if that happened. Just getting to see the bombastic Bagman in live action would be amazing. So let's hope that something like that happens one day because that would just be so flipping cool. And as well as that, obviously, loads of huge battles with the Avengers, the X-Men, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Four, Guardians. I mean, there's, there's a big battle in Infinity War. It was huge, and I would imagine that there's going to be a big battle in Avengers 4. But can you imagine the big battles to come when all of those characters are home at Marvel Studios? I, I can hardly imagine how epic that's going to be, and I cannot wait. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.